Well, folks, it's August 16th, 2014, the 37th anniversary of the passing of Elvis Presley. Uh, <laughs> as you know from watching my, uh, my channel, I'm a big Beatles fan. And I don't think you can be a Beatles fan without being at least somewhat of an Elvis fan. And I am a huge Elvis fan. I'm fascinated by the man. I mean, he, if it wasn't for him, there wouldn't have been a Beatles. Having said all that, I'm wearing this ridiculous shirt. It's my Elvis shirt. It's kind of like what he wore in about 1970. See, only, only he could pull that off. But I'm wearing it because it's for fun. And I'm wearing his glasses too, the glasses, the style that he wore. I bought these nearly 20 years ago in Las Vegas. They came with fake sideburns, but I took those off. Anyway, every year uh, I pull them out and try them on and have fun. And sometimes my friends have Elvis themed parties and we'll eat stuff that Elvis ate and watch concert footage of them. But today, what I've got here is an Elvis whiskey decanter from the 1970s. I bought this at a uh, vintage store, uh, an antique store last year. And the cool thing about it is this whiskey decanter isn't empty. It's got whiskey in it. You see that seal right there? That's the seal. It hasn't been broken. Now his head is, is a little loose. I think the, the cork inside is kind of dried out some. Here's a little close up of him. Here's the back seal on it. Uh, so a little bit of whiskey, because I can smell, I mean you can, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's in there. So what I thought I'd do today on the anniversary of the passing of the king is open this sucker up and, uh, and taste what the whiskey's like inside. This is, actually this little thing just came off, it came off the back, it's the sticker. It's McCormick Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 86 proof, limited edition. Four fifth of a quart, distilled and bottled by McCormick Distilling, Western, Weston, Missouri. So this sticker just came off the back because the adhesive finally, finally let go after all these years. And uh, so let's just oh, let me show you what else this thing does. It's not just a whiskey decanter; it's also a music box. So if you get a little close here, wind that sucker up, and then in the back there's a little switch. Flip that switch. Plays Love Me Tender. Can you hear that? Thank you, Elvis. All right, let's open the sucker up and see what the whiskey inside tastes like. This uh, now whiskey is supposed to age, right? But I don't think it's supposed to age inside a ceramic Elvis figurine. So let's just uh, crack the seal and say I'm just going to tear it. It's very dry, brittle. All right, there we go. Don't worry, this thing's not. There's a million of these things. It's not real valuable. I got it for like 20 bucks. All right, so the seal has been broken, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's take his head off. Sorry, all this. Here we go. The head. Bring me the head of the king. Yes. Hey, hippie. Shave them sideburns. Smells good. Smells like whiskey. There's the cork. See? Wet. It's intact. Oh, it's kind of sad, isn't it? Maybe if I get back far enough, it'll look like my head. All right. I do love Elvis. I think he's fascinating. Of course, he was multi-talented, and he started it all. All right, here we go. Here's a glass. Maybe I should turn it around and pour it off of his collar so it doesn't get down his front. I'm trying to hold this. All right, let's see here. Let's see what it looks like. Well, it's clear. Smells like whiskey. Smells good. Doesn't smell real strong, but it's 86 proof. There it is, inside the glass. Right, let's put his head back on, because I feel bad. The inside of it is uh, pretty clean. Let me see if I can show you the inside of the neck without spilling whiskey all over the place. See, it's clean. It's not like funky or, but of course, since alcohol is alcohol, it should be, should kill Bacteria, right? Kill germs? I 
don't know. We'll find out. Right, let's see what it tastes like. Now, this is McCormick bourbon, as was stated here. It's a nice color. Wait, let me look. Yeah, it's like a, like a dark caramel color. You see that? It's like a beautiful caramel color. It smells nice. Let's give it a taste, shall we? It's got a bit of a funk to it. Like a bit of a ceramic Elvis funk to it, like the inside of a jumpsuit. It does have kind of an old, funky, uh, musty sort of aroma to it. It's got a bite, it's got a whiskey bite to it, but in general it kind of tastes like it's been stored in something for, you know, 30 some odd years, and something it shouldn't be stored in, it should have been stored in glass, in a bottle. I'm getting a good, maybe even if I just let it sit for a minute, some of that funk will go away, once it opens up to the air and the oxygen that it hasn't been getting. That's a pretty tight jumpsuit. I'm surprised you can breathe in there, Elvis. Looks like an Indian, Native American themed. It's got feathers on the side. It's got, like I said, it's got kind of a ceramic y, musty taste to it, dusty. You don't smell it as much as you taste it, but it's definitely there when you're smelling it, and more so when you taste it. Um, but it doesn't have anything, any funky things floating around in it. So they probably the McCormick Company probably intended you to drink it as soon as it was bottled, or at least soon after, or maybe not at all if you were gonna just be, keep it as a commemorative thing. So I might decant the rest of this and put it in um, like a crystal uh, decanter and let it just sit and breathe for a while and see if it changes. But for now, that is the Elvis Decanter whiskey tasting on the anniversary of his death back in 1977. Here's to you, Elvis. He didn't drink much, but I'll raise a glass in his honor. <laughs>